Hello guys, this is Ramin with Ramin Digital on YouTube and uh, RaminDigital.com. Um, I have a new uh, Vegas Pro uh, tutorial for our subscribers and our clients as to how to, to make a, your stock footage or standard footage that you take from the camera, make it into a, like a motion picture, like a movie effect sort of thing. Pretty much all of the clips or footage that you see in the commercials or in intros or whatnot, they're already been touched up in some way or another, been color corrected. If it's a photo, they're definitely been photoshopped. And if it's a footage, they've already been touched up with the color corrections in Vegas Pro. And that's, a, that's what we do. Like, take a look at these clips. I grabbed a bunch of clips from uh, video blocks and they're, they're all variety of them. Some of them are already being corrected and some of them are not. Like in this case, this footage, okay, you look at this footage, this footage has been definitely corrected. You see all of the red lights, you know, the, the tail lights on the cars and everything. See how bright they are even in the shadow and whatnot. And even though you look back there, there's a big shadow in there. But the lights are very, very vivid and bright. This is because this, this footage has been corrected. Normally, when they use a, a DSLR or even a high def camera, unless you're in a studio and you control the entire lights and environment, you will not achieve the correction that you wanted to get. You see how this yellow, how it pops out and all the other colors are not. So I'm going to show you how to do a correction, how to make it into to like a movie caliber footage. I'm going to grab this guy. This also came from video blocks. Okay. And it's just the footage of a Brooklyn Bridge in New York. Now you see there's a big difference between this footage See how the colors are like kind of washed and faded and whatnot. This was definitely taken with a drone. I'm sure with a good camera, but you see there's no, there's, there's nothing pops out. All the colors are blend together versus when you look at this one, how bright and vivid it is. So in order to fix that thing, uh, Vegas Pro has a bunch of bunch of color correction because it is a video editing software after all. So bring your footage in your timeline and go to your video effects. There's variety of color corrections there that are there, but some of them apply to certain different things. So in this case, for your real live footage or any kind of footage, what we want to do, there's one is called color curves. Color curves, it changes the contrast versus shadows, which again, corrections and the color what you see to the human eye, contrast is the most effective way to manipulate colors okay now they're rgb of course but again the contrast applies to everything so in this case you see there's a there are a whole bunch of presets already in there like brighten you know brights the contrast reduce color midtones and whatnot for this for this exercise what we're going to do we're just going to grab the default and just drag it on our footage okay this is our curve that's what they call the color curve. Our curve is just very linear. It starts from this one and go all the way over there. And while you look at the footage, I'm going to start manipulating the color. What I'm going to do, uh, these are your highlights on the top and of course the shadow on the bottom. So just the default as it is, just grab this little handle that is in there and then go you know, to your left. You can go down to make it darker, but in this case, we want it to be make it brighter. So just go about this much. I don't know, uh, looks good to your eye and depending on a footage like in this case i'm gonna i can go way down here so i'm gonna come out here somewhere over here you can go up and down of course the curves so because it's a curve it changes i'm gonna come out here and that was from my highlight for my shadows i'm gonna grab this guy since we change our curve the handle of the linear is still there so i'm gonna grab this guy and brings it the opposite side so it makes it a little bit darker so what we see, let me, let me put this preview to best so you guys can see it better. Okay, so if I turn the, the effects off, this is the normal footage, that's how it came in. And this is just by adding those color curves with the contrast, you can see it is tremendously different. The, the river is more blue or green, whatever it is, versus this one, it's like gray. And the buildings kind of pop out. Okay, so, so what you want to do, you want to do like, a, like an S type shape. You know, I'm going to bring down here a little bit in there. So the best thing is like, a, you see this how it's an S? So that would work fine. So now we got, we got this thing to, you can use it just as it is. I mean, it's, it looks pretty decent because again, when I turn this off, you see how, how, how much of a difference it is. 
The other thing we can do, we use the, the color corrector. Now to individual colors, you can add more stuff to it. Like so there's blue, there's gray, there's everything. Again, uh, the color corrector has a whole bunch of presets already in there. We're gonna use the default and make our own because depending on what the footage is, and that's how you're gonna, you're gonna make the adjustments. Now in here, I got a whole bunch of different colors over here and here. So we go into the mid-tone, just play around with it. Just go, give it a little bit more red. This is like way too much red, it looks red. But if I, if I, right now it's got a lot of blues and gray in it. I'm gonna give it a little bit more red. You see, as I give it more red, the little cabs, in, uh, the, the taxi cabs in here are popping out even more and the buildings is popping out more. You can also go to the low or the high and that's just manipulate that. Add a little bit more yellow, maybe not as it look good. Give it a little bit more blue, then it's gonna make it cold. But again, look at the, on the bridge, all these cars are even popping out even more. So the mid-tone, I mean the low, I'm also gonna give it like some towards, I'm sorry, towards the blue. And then for the highs, I'm gonna do the same thing. Add some more red to it. Now, this is our footage. It looks totally different than it is. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a video track in there and bring the original uh, original footage in there too. So I'm gonna bring it out here. I'm gonna cut it like halfway over here. So now I start out with our corrected video. You see the, the grass, the green, the ocean, the, I mean the river, everything, and then it switches back to what the original was. So you can see the difference, how much the difference it is. That's how you, all the footages, that's how you make it more realistic, more vivid and whatnot. Then what you can do on some of the move motion pictures, you see there everybody talk about letterboxing and whatnot. Letterboxing, that means they just cut the video. This is from the old days, from like when you convert a four by three DVD format, uh, aspect ratio into a high def because it's square you would lose so much so that kind of stayed with them with the motion thing and uh, they just make the picture they put two black bars on top of it and the new uh, footage is it just stays in there so they still continue to do that so that's like a motion picture which I totally disagree you need to have as much as real estate as you can have if it's this much fill the screen with all the junk that you have in there but in, in case if you wanted to do that, you go to pan, pan and crop and then make sure you're, uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of buttons in here. This one it says maintain aspect ratio or lock aspect ratio. What this does is when you resize or pan and crop or you crop your image, it resizes it because it keeps the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. We don't want to do that. So we want to reset this thing. So we uncheck this. That means whatever we crop, don't resize it, just crop it. Now, if you grab this thing and bring it down, you see it's just cropping our image. You, could, you can go down there. So this is how if you put that little box in there. Now, if you play this thing, I'm gonna bring the original, our original back in there again. So this is our footage, corrected footage, which it looks totally, totally different. And then this is our original. So these are a couple of, couple of uh, tips and tricks that you can do. There's another footage I have in here from New York City and it's the same thing again. Uh, it's very bland, it doesn't have anything in it. So again, you go to video effects, grab the color curves and or you can use some of the presets. Like this one says warm colors, that means it has a lot more red in it. Drag that guy in there to see what it looks like. See the whole thing, the skies and everything change and you see the, how the curve is changed. And uh, this is only applying to like one color. You still can manipulate it. You can you can change it around and bring this down. But it's maybe too much red for this sequence because there's a lot of gray. So we take that out, we put the default in there, and then again, we follow our, our effects that we do. We make an S shape color curve. So bring it down here, maybe it's too dark, it's already dark. Make it lighten up a little bit. Okay, and then go to your um, color corrector grab a default in the air. We have a lot of blues and gray. We definitely want to add some more yellow to it. So not too much, just a, just a little bit of yellow. And then we added some more red to it. And then for this one also, I'm going to add some more red to it. So now it's totally changed. If I bring it, bring the original clip on there. So you're going to see this. This is our corrected one. You see all the buildings, how they pop, because these are the actual colors of the building. So the camera, failed to catch it 
and then it switches to our original see how totally gray it is um, I hope this uh, tutorial helps you guys In my next tutorial I'm gonna talk about how to render a video that looks like a motion picture everybody's talking about going 60i and the more resolution the more frames or not actually it's not there, there's some facts that that I'm gonna cover for you guys so totally makes it how Hollywood movie studios make their videos I hope this video helps you guys and if you like this video please like and subscribe so I can bring you more of these things and you get notified when I have a new uh, Vegas Pro tutorial thanks guys